And in honor of this special weekend, we turn to the journey of a St. Jude ambassador. Meet Brianna Davison, whose creativity, compassion, and touch of magic is turning wigs into wings for our littlest warriors. Today, the heart and soul of making cranial hair pieces for children with medical hair loss. We are here at Brie Monique Collection in Southeast Memphis. Get in here. We're here with Brianna of Brie Monique Collection. Thank you so much. And who is this beautiful princess here? This is Amaya. First of all, how did you get into uh, designing and making kids' wigs? I had an opportunity to put on a wig for a child that was battling a hair loss. And when it worked, I had a viral social media post. And now I'm traveling all over the world doing it for a lot of other girls. I mean, you're, you've are you been on network television. You have more than 110,000 followers on Instagram. So how many years have you and Anaya been working? together well me and Anaya have been working together since she was three so now you are <gasps> oh now ten oh okay so what are we doing here today so her not having hair we don't want to let that be a, a reason for her to not experience other type of styles so we will be installing this kids wig on Miss Anaya okay Anaya loves braids okay and she has like three of them right now good for you Anaya so you have me beat that size for uh, cranial hair pieces mm -hmm. doesn't really exist out there. You have Correct. to design each one. Correct. Every, every child's head is different. Yeah. So it's all about customizing a wig to each head. Tell me about that one moment when you maybe woke up the next day from your viral video. Wow. Shifted the industry and my clientele changed. Like everything changed like overnight. Wow. Overnight. I was blessed to have the opportunity to have my own product line. You manufacture? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Good for you. <laughs> yes, Yay, you. you have your own product. Yes, ma'am. I have my own lace glue. It's skin-based glue, so it's very good for all skin types. Um, and it dries clear, and it's removable with alcohol. You literally, out of your own pocket, paid for kids all over the nation to have their own wigs, and you went from city to city. You've done this annually. Yeah. Wow. So the Kids Wig Tour started in 2019, mm -hmm. and I pretty much go city to city, like you said, <laughs> giving away wigs to children with these, type of, these types of hair loss conditions. Um, man, so we, we do like door knocks and oh, pop-up shops. And, yes, so I get with the parents, First, I let them know in an email that they were selected. And then I get with the parents, we set up this little spicy surprise. <laughs> and then the, the child comes in, she gets <gasps> surprised, and boom, I install the wig on her, and we just celebrate. It's, it's a beautiful experience. I'm a winner. <laughs> yes, you are a winner. Can you get it open? <laughs> That help? Yeah. <laughs> My wig! Thank you for the wig, Brianna. I love it so much. You're just so sweet. You're such a good person. I have a couple of clients, future clients, that are in Africa right now. What? On me. Different continents. And when you get into continents, it's like, okay, this is bigger than me. Like, this is nothing that I can really do on my own. So I'm going to need more prayer. And I'm going to need <laughs> more, more collaborations. And I'm going to need people because yeah. it's bigger than me. I mean, we're just watching you grow in real time. Tell me about the invitation from St. Jude. That's how we met. That's how we met. <laughs> Correct. So St. Jude had a creator's um, a summit, summit. yeah. And Only a hundred people around the world, and you are one of them. It was an experience because I learned a lot more about St. Jude. You know, when you hear St. Jude, you think about the kids, but when you actually go and you get a tour, a one-on-one -on -one tour, it's like, I didn't know that, I didn't know that. And I mean, just the whole entire 
um, mission and just 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 getting to know more about St. Jude really opened my eyes to a lot of things. That is really something. Well, thank you so much, Brianna. I think that, you know, you are here for a reason and I'm just so happy that I got to meet you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And so you saw the before. We are going to show the after. So amazing. What great woman. All right, still to come 